Don't forget to rate and comment. All links and information are provided on the right. Hi, this is Dan from Epic Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to rip DVDs using the free program DVD Shrink and burn them to the disc using a free program Image Burn. Um, let's get started. Uh, first, you're going to have to download the programs that I just showed you. Links are in the sidebar in the info box. Um, once you've downloaded installed those, resume playing this video and we'll start. First thing you're going to do is open up your disk drive and insert the DVD. Let's take a few moments to do that. Alright, now that I got my disk inserted, um, you're going to wait for the autoplay to come up and just close it out because I don't want it to annoy me later that it, you don't need it. So we're just going to close that out. Um, now we're going to go down here and open up DVD Shrink. I'm going to maximize it. Um, now all you do is click open disk, choose your DVD from the drop down menu. It should have the name of the DVD on there. Click OK. It's It'll load the disk. Alright, now it's loaded. You can uh, check and deselect uh, things that you do not need, such as other language audio. See, this video has Spanish audio on it. I don't need that because I don't speak Spanish. Um, you can compress the video if you want to make it smaller. Um, remember, when you compress it, you're also losing quality. Now, I'm going to leave it on automatic because I don't want to lose any quality and I have plenty of space on both the disk and my hard drive. Now, to back it up, you're going to go up here and click Backup. Specify your region. It needs to know what type of encryption is on the disk. And then click OK. Now, under Select Backup Target, you're going to choose ISO Image File from the drop down menu. Next, we're going to Select Target Image File, which means click this little folder right here. I mean, click the little Browse button and choose where you want to save this ISO image file. I'm going to save it to my videos. And then all you do is click OK. Now it is encoding the video, which is creating the ISO file on your hard drive. And once that's done, I'll tell you what to do next. Alright, now that DVD Shrink is done encoding that video, I have this ISO image file on my desktop. That's where I saved it to. Um, now we're going to go ahead and insert a blank DVD into our DVD-ROM drive. Go ahead and eject that. Put your disk in. And close it. Alright, when the auto run um, pops up, just close that out. I've already done that, so I'm not going to worry about it. Then you're going to open up Image Burn. And choose Write Image File to Disk. Click that, and under Source, it says Please Select a File. Click the folder without the plus button on it, and select the image file. In this case, mine's on the desktop, so I'm going to select that. Alright, it'll load that image file, and make sure your write speed is set to 1x, and just